yeah let's look at multiplexer now multiplexer is commonly known as mux we have know that now multiplexer is a device that select one of the several analog or digital input signals that forwards and sig input into a single line output the definition represents multiplexer takes some inputs that is more than one and more than zero and gives a single output that's a purified form of output we can get the from the multiplexer and is generally used in telecommunication part right we can get the we can get different kinds of multiplexer in the telecommunication part but generally used multiplexers are 2141 8161 32 and 64 one multiplexer we can get we can have different kinds of multiplexer in the telecommunication part application form now i have taken a generalizer form of multiplexer where the inputs are 0 1 2 3 and these are the s0 and s1 are the selective pins used in the multiplexer to remove the errors from the multiplexer and gives a purified output in a single line yeah now let's look at 4 1 multiplexer for the better understanding of the multiplexer concept through 4 1 multiplexer form here we have given 4 inputs x0 x1 x2 and x3 these are the four inputs we have given to the multiplexer and these these are the, there are the two selection inputs named s1 and s2 s2 and s1 are the i have explained previously that s1 and s2 are the input selective pins that removes data sorry that removes errors in the data due to form purified output three gates are used in the multiplexer where and gate or gate and not nor gate let's look at the representation of the 41 marks in the gate form here we have given a four and and gates and one or gate here not gates these are the inverters s0 and s1 and we have given input to the and gate inputs are given to the and gate and the output from the and gate is given as the input for the or gate and these are the inverters use user as the filter to purify the data and the data is transmitted through and gate and received received uh, received to the or gate and gives a perfect output which is of no error perfect data we can get from the multiplexer for one using the previous data type this is the theory regarding the problem we have you theory regarding the diagram used in this multiplexer let's look at the liquid to detail now here we have used as i said earlier we have used the gates and or and not gate all inputs lines is applied to the and gates adjacently and or gate is applied to produce a single output when selection of inputs s0 and s1 are equal to 1 0 respectively this will produce the output that is equal to y2 here the out and gate correspond to y2 will produce its input equal to 1 this is the part regarding to the multiplexer point of view and the rest of here we have given this is the regarding only 1 and 0 respectively this is the rest of the three inputs we have given to the given as the input here the rest of three inputs x0 and x1 has one input each to 0 means output is also 0 so y2 have a output equal to 1 which gives the way to selected input to produce the output we have actually there is a 6 inputs in the reversible direction we can talk only we will talk only 4 but the concept says that we have given 6 inputs x0 x1 x2 x3 and s0 and s2 also s0 and s1 so access inputs to the multiplexer but have only single output it works on the principle of 2 power n inputs and giving it the output if we consider n is a, n is a constant we consider n is equal to 1 2 3 if we consider n is equal to 3 the power is equal to 2 power 3 that is equal to 8 inputs and we get only single input 
what the number has n but we only get a single input that is pure in pure byte form 41 is the standard multiplexer which is used commonly in the telecommunication part of you and data transferring this is the truth table regarding the 41 multiplexer these are the inputs 0 0 this is a analog point of view 0 0 we can get the y1 0 1 y2 1 0 y3 and 1 1 y4 these are the outputs these are the inputs we have given the form of analog now let's look at the applications of multiplexer what where we use the multiplexer concept here first point says that most common use of multiplexer is in telecommunication where many inputs as information converted into single input single output sorry yeah here we can use as, as i said earlier telecommunication point plays a key role in use of multiplexer type here we have given more in, many inputs are and converse, converted into single output that is a purified form which we can hear clearly and comfortably using multiplexer and second point represents multiplexer user as a sender side to combine many inputs that produce a single output in the receiver side from the transmitter form we can receive and transmit the data here sender side combines with many inputs and that produce a single output which delete the errors from the input and we can get the clear output in the receiver side yeah the further most important point is multiplexer is a cost saver because instead of producing many outputs from many input it produces single output that is a purified form of input which is sorry output we can get from the multiplexer it's widely used as telling that's why it's a purified output we can get from the multiplexer so mainly exactly we use multiplexer in telecommunication but more very importantly and in the use of sound system and cd players also use multiplexer we can send much information simultaneously having collection of very few wires yeah wires also play some important role because we can use we can get a only single output so less numbers of wires used in multiplexer when we use multiplexer five wires are also used multiplexer multiplexers are many uses in computer architecture very reliable source to exchange information and consider as the cheap device yeah now cons nowadays multiplexer consider as the life of time life for time communication because it's a cost cost saver and purified output we can get from the multiplexer this is the concept of multiplexer now look at the multiplexers it is a, also known as DMUX and this is exact opposite to multiplexer we saw in the previous data the mu deep multiplexer takes single input data line and switches to any number of individual outputs at one time let's look into detail multiplexer is a quite multiplexer and D multiplexers are the quite opposite to each other here we have we can give number of outputs that is 2 power n that is num uh, more than 2 but here we can here in deep multiplexer only one input is given and we can get different kinds of multiplexer different kinds of outputs which we want from the multi deep multiplexer we got here these are these are uh, deep multiplexer is also known as dmux it's quite opposite deep multiplexer now liquids into detail the deep multiplexer converts a single data signal at a input to parallel as its output lines as shown below let's look at the diagram regarding the demultiplexer here we have given f is the input and these are the outputs which we get from the input side only one input is f is given and we can get the outputs a b c d these are the used in of course telecommunication in the different region where frequency is high or low we can switch to switch control is a b c these are the outputs to use as a switch in the frequency range productions and this is the truth table this is the 1 4 multi 1 4 d multiplexer 1 trigger 1 represents out input 4 represents the output if we give we can also have 1 2 1 1 6 1 6 4 1 
वन वन टू दीज आर मल्टीप्लेक्स बिकॉज वन फोर इज द स्टैंडर्ड स्टैंडर्ड स्टैंडर्डाइज मल्टीप्लेक्स विच वी यूज इन टेलीकम्युनिकेशन पार्ट आलसो टू स्विच टू डिफरेंट फ्रीक्वेंसी रेंज दीज आर दू टेबल रिगार्डिंग वन फोर डी मल्टीप्लेक्स आर दीज आर द इन आउटपुट्स आर ए आउटपुट्स आर बी डाटा सेलेक्टेड मीन वी दिस इज द अनलॉक फॉर्म ऑफ रिप्रेजेंटेशन जीरो जीरो वी कैन गेट द आउटपुट ऑफ डाटा आउटपुट ऑफ ए हियर वि जीरो वन बी वन जीरो सी वन वन डी लेट्स टू कैन टू डिटेल अबाउट वन फोर मल्टीप्लेक्स आर एज वी डिस्क एयरलीयर फोर वन मल्टीप्लेक्स फोर वन इज द क्वाइट अपोजिट टू वन फोर एंड लेट्स लुक एट द रिप्रेजेंटेशन विच वी गेट फ्रॉम द डायग्राम शोन here we have given this is a multiplexer this uh, rectangle represent multiplexer and this is a sim only a generalized symbol for the multiplexer given this is the if is the input this is the outputs this this uh, here this output represents a b c d this is the where in which frequency it is applicable that output we can get from the given diagram this is the one of the output functioning of dmux i have taken for the better understanding of multi d multiplexer this this is a quite easy way to understand d multiplexer concept here we have given 0 here 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 but the output outputs also change and depend upon the frequency range we have given yeah let's look into detail about uh, one for d multiplexer the boolean this is the boolean expression for the previous diagram shown the boolean expression for this multiplexer above with outputs a to d and the data select lines ab is given f is equal to aba ab these are the ab represents inputs a is the output aba abb abc abd the function of the multiplexer is to sorry for the inconvenience the function of the demultiplexer is to switch one common data input line to n any one of the four output lines a to d in our example above as we with the as with the multiplexer the individual solid state switches are selected for the binary input address code on the output select two pins a and b as shown let's look at the four channel mux with the gates these are the here we have this picture clar clarifies our fully doubt concept this are here the these are the f is a this is a combination of both d multiplexer and mux pins here we have given a b inputs f as the input we have got the a b c d as the output using hand gates we have constructed this mux and these are the inverters used to delete the errors from the error from multiplexer and gives a purified output that is a b c d this i have said earlier that a b depends upon the free, frequency range the output will be clarified yeah let's look at the output forms what we get from the d multiplexers as a previous multiplexer circuit adding more addressing lines it's possible to switch more outputs yes mm, some standard d multiplexer ics also use house have an additional enable enable output pin which disables or prevents the input from the being passed to the selected output also some of some have latches built into in the outputs to maintain the output logic level after the address inputs have the change however in the standard decoder type circuits the address will be determined which single data output will have the same value as the data input with the all data having the value of logic 0 this is the very easy to understand the concept of d multiplexer i have used and this is the dmux symbol here we have given them only one input as one and the outputs will be represented in look like this and these are the ab are the select two pins these are the use for the i said i really love that ab are the ab are used for the deleting the errors yeah digital working of the d multiplexer let's look at the digital working of the d multiplexer as with the previous multiplexer example we can also use d multiplexer to digital control 
the gain of operation amplifier as shown here we discuss about the analog point of analog point of view now this is the this is the analog point of view now we discuss the working of demultiplexer in the digital point of view here we have given the sine wave as the input here we have given only one input the we here we get four inputs and the no is these are the four connected to single node single node will give the to the negative side of the or get and positive to the ground and this is the referral res resistor used for the purified output that that releases the output slowly that is here we get the purified out purified output in different colors this is the as let me assume this a output b c or d output you can get from the digital point of view of multiplexer